the Roman. Today is the second day at the show Embedded World, mm -hmm. and my question is: uh, Did you find any very hot topic which impressed you really here at the show? Uh, first and foremost, I think we all are interested in the challenges and the most pressing trends uh, that will impact the embedded systems market. Mm -hmm. uh, and to address this, uh, we have uh, published a so-called outlook, so national mm -hmm. instruments. Uh, published yesterday at the Embedded World, the Embedded Systems Outlook 2013. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It basically gives you an overview on the trends and challenges uh, that embedded designers mm -hmm. will be facing uh, to solve the control and monitoring applications. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what are the basics of this Outlook? So let me give you some background information on it. Uh, as you know, National Instruments interacts with over 35,000 mm -hmm, customers mm -hmm. worldwide and uh, that puts us in a unique position mm -hmm. uh, to uh, you know, see the roadmaps of our customers, mm -hmm. uh, what are the challenges that they are facing, and then with our uh, technology partners mm -hmm. such as uh, Intel or Xilinx or analog devices, uh, we also get to see uh, the technology trends that are coming out mm -hmm, from, mm -hmm. from this side of the business and the best practices that are being employed. So we are in a unique position mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to give an outlook mm -hmm, with a basis mm -hmm. uh, of 35,000 um, companies mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. technology partners uh, about the trends that we will be seeing in the future. Mm -hmm. You talk to the, uh, about the trends in general, yes. but also some major trends. Absolutely. In this so, area. yes. So we have identified five areas, uh, five trends, mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, the first uh, area is uh, something we call uh, reconfigurable heterogeneous architectures. Mm -hmm. So fundamentally, if faster and more processing mm -hmm. cores are not sufficient, uh, embedded designers are combining more and more heterogeneous mm -hmm. elements into their application. Mm -hmm. So that's the first trend. Mm -hmm. the, the second one is uh, the digital energy revolution. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, we are in the midst of an energy revolution and digital technologies are fundamentally changing the way energy is moved, manipulated, controlled and also stored. Yeah. So, it's the second area. The third area, we call it uh, the democratization of embedded system design. It's a heavy word, I know. Uh, it basically means that uh, in the past, uh, larger uh, design groups were employed to solve specialized yeah, tasks. Yeah. These are now being abandoned and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. smaller groups are employed uh, with domain-specific know-how to address uh, their um, challenges and mm -hmm. their uh, application needs and to translate it into innovations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So bigger versus yeah. smaller groups. Uh, the third channel, uh, the third uh, area is um, the business side of things, so we call it the uh, total uh, economy of profitability mm -hmm. or economic mm -hmm. profitability. In the past, uh, you know, cost analysis was in the forefront, mm -hmm. uh, whereas now uh, other aspects such as risk and flexibility yeah. are becoming an integral part of the business strategy. Mm -hmm. And last not, but not least uh, is the trend uh, embedded vision. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? Technology coming from the commercial area, uh, which uh, are deployed in uh, high volume consumer mm -hmm. goods, mm -hmm. are now enabling a new generation of intelligent mm -hmm. embedded systems. So that is the fifth trend that we are seeing. Mm -hmm. And uh, these five areas are the major areas that mm -hmm. the industry is heading towards. Mm -hmm. And I think we will be seeing much more innovations coming. And how do you support your potential customers when someone comes to you and want to have yeah, help or support in this yes, so areas you described? Right. So these are the headlines uh, with a little description. But there is more meat uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in these areas. And if you'd like to have a look at the complete outlook, mm -hmm. uh, the compute, complete documentation, you can go to our website, mm -hmm. ni.com. Uh, ESO for mm -hmm. uh, Embedded Systems Outlook. There you can download the complete uh, document. So it's ni.com/eso. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. welcome.